Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing fantastic. So in today's video, I'm just doing a tag video. I haven't done a tag video for such a long time and I have gained some new subscribers as of recently. So I wanted to do this tag video just so you guys can get to know me a little bit better because um, I typically just do like haul type videos on my channel or like kid mum related type of videos. So um, I don't really get into a lot of personal things on my channel, but I do want you guys to feel kind of like connected to me on a personal level. So I thought this tag video would be a great way to do that. And, and if you want to do this tag video as well, please feel free to do that. I'll leave the questions down in the description bar. So don't forget to check that out before you exit out of the video, or you can just answer the same questions um, in the comments below. Below, we can have like a conversation um, with the responses that you come up with with these questions that was super cool too so if you are new here though give me a big thumbs up if you do like this video and don't forget to subscribe down below click that red subscribe button so you can see more videos <laughs> Let's get into the questions. I've got it written down in my notebook down here, so I might be referring or looking down here um, for those questions, but let's get into it. So, what is your name? My name's Sylvana, for those that don't already know. Obviously, my channel name is Mummy Diaries, but my actual personal name is Sylvana. Question two is, where do you live? I live in New South Wales, Australia. Where did you grow up? I was actually born overseas in Europe um, from a place called Macedonia. Some of you may have not heard of this country um, because it was formerly known as Yugoslavia. But yeah, I lived there until I was three years old and my whole family and I shipped over from there to Australia and we have lived here ever since. Question four is, do you have any kids? And if so, what are their ages and their names? I have two children. I have a son named Christopher and he's five and a half years old. He will be six this year in July. And I have a daughter that is three years old and she just turned three in November. So question five is how tall are you? I actually don't know exactly. I think I'm around 170 centimeters, but I could be a little bit off there, but I'm around that amount. Yeah, I feel like I'm fairly tall. Um, considering the average height of a woman, but yeah, around that height. And question six is how many siblings do you have? I have one sibling and that is an older sister. She is three years older than me. Um, question seven is, do you have any pets? At the moment, I do not have any pets. I grew up with cats, um, but at the moment I don't have any cats. I have two children and that is more than enough for me. And do you get along with your family? Absolutely, family is everything to me. So I really do invest a lot of my time, effort, energy, and all that into family. Um, yeah, I've got a, quite a big family. So um, yeah, definitely do get along. We do all the fun, um, big you know holidays together. And we also see each other quite regularly on a regular basis too. So yeah, definitely would say I am close with my family. Uh, question 10 is tea or coffee? Hmm, this is a hard one because I drink both, um, but I only have tea in the mornings with my breakfast. And then coffee, I used to have it like once a day and I've been kind of not really craving it lately. So I haven't had a coffee for like weeks now, um, which is kind of strange for me to say because I used to have one every afternoon. I do enjoy a cup of coffee. I just haven't had one for a long time and my body's just getting used to not having the coffee in the system. So I'm just enjoying my green tea in the mornings at the moment. Question 11 is what sports did you play growing up? So I was a pretty active kid, I would say. Um, I did gymnastics in my primary years. I stuck to that for several, several years until I was hit, I think, around year six. And then I bunged up my ankle um, in year six when I was doing a backflip or something of that sort. And I rolled my ankle and it still hasn't come good. I did some track, like some running, cross country running. And I did fairly, fairly good with that as well. Um, but my ankle kept playing up. And then from like in my high school years to up until like 
I want to say like year 10, I did netball. So obviously that's probably how I got my height um, as well. But I used to love netball, just being active, being in a team and all that. So yeah, I did, I did gymnastics, a bit of track and um, netball as well. Question 12 is, what is your go-to fast food? I don't like fast food. We don't get it often at all. Probably like once a month, if that. Um, but if I did go out for um, takeaway or for like some sort of fast food, I would probably go to like a Chinese takeaway shop or I would just stick with Subway because it's just like fresh salads on a roll. Um, or you can just order like a salad in a bowl anyway. I eat fairly healthy, so um, I just feel like takeaway just makes me feel really yuck afterwards. It may taste good in the moment, but then give it half an hour and I've got an upset tummy. So um, I just try and steer away from it. But yeah, I would say Chinese or Subway if I had to choose. Um, okay, how many... Question 13 is how many countries have I been to? So obviously I was born overseas in Europe, so that would be one. Um, I've also been... So that would be one. I've also been to Vanuatu for a honeymoon, so that's two. Um, we went to Malaysia last year for a holiday as well, so that's three. And then I live in Australia, so that's four. So I've been to four countries in my lifetime. Question 14 is, what are your life goals? So this is pretty broad, and I feel like I'm going to sound like a cliche when I say this, but basically I just want to be happy and healthy. And I know that's probably what everyone wants out of life, but Honestly, that is all I want. I don't want a big mansion or fancy cars or anything like that. I just want to be happy and healthy. Um, Job-wise, obviously, I want to be in a job that I absolutely love or I just want to be my own boss. Um, I would love to work, you know, for myself. Um, I just don't know if I have the stamina or willpower to do that, but I am working towards that goal slowly um but yeah if i don't get successful in that way because entrepreneur is not for everyone i would love to just to be in a job that i absolutely love and i'm still looking for that job and also obviously i just want to raise my kids to be happy and healthy as well and just be fulfilled in life and be successful and all that so like I said, it probably sounds like a cliche, but honestly, that is all I would ever want to wish. Um, you know, if anyone just says like, you know, what do you want out of life? I just want to be happy and healthy and just live, you know, and travel. Like traveling is a pretty big one for me as well. I do want to see more of the world. So that's definitely on my bucket list. But um, yeah, just to be happy and healthy in general would be awesome. And the last thing, the last question is one thing that you wouldn't know about me. I did think about this one a little bit because it's a bit hard because um, I know what my friends and family know about me but obviously that's different to what you guys see and know of me um, but I guess a simple one would be a lot of people don't know that I actually have naturally curly hair so every time I mention that to anyone even people at work because I typically do straighten it um, more so than not and anytime I mention that to anyone at work that I actually have like naturally curly hair they're like what really how um so that's something that you probably don't know about me either i've always had pretty curly hair growing up there was a period where i had dead straight hair and then i guess i hit puberty or something and then they changed the texture of my hair and it just went super curly and wavy but it's not like controlled waves it's kind of like a bit here a bit there it's kind of everywhere and to maintain it, i've tried to keep it curly and work out like a way to keep it natural but um, for me to actually keep it contained and frizz free and all that, I would have to use like a lot of products and I just don't like the way it made my hair feel and the fact that I had to wash it more frequently because I had so much products in there. So I just ended up straightening my hair, I think around high school, um, I want to say like around the high school years and then I've never looked back. I've always liked my hair straighter. I do curl it with like a curling iron, but that's obviously he like styled that way it's not natural curls but yeah i actually have naturally curly hair um so that's one thing that you probably wouldn't know about me just by watching my videos 
Anyways, that's the end of the tag and the end of all the questions. Like I said, I will leave the questions in the description box, so feel free to do this as well. Leave your um, answers in the comments below if you want to just do it that way rather than doing a video. If you don't have a channel, you just don't want to do a video with these same questions, that's fine. Just leave your answers in the comments. I would love, love, love to read them. And like I said, subscribe if you're new. Thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.